what's up guys man i got a lot of things trending on social media i got something that is coming in from uh, uh timmy dakolo and davido they are going to have a big banger as collaboration is already loading up and timmy dakolo shared this on his uh, instagram and a lot of people are reacting to this obio timmy dakolo what kind of magic can come out of that and i still have um you know israel dmw begging davido that man i will follow you to us just take me to us and not go run i'll be nigerian and all those kind of things and that is uh arousing some kind of funny reactions on social media before i proceed for that i want to use this time out to really appreciate you guys for watching my videos and sharing them across social media platform being a part of it is all interesting for me and if you are new here why don't you take our time click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always always get notifications each time i upload my videos you can drop in the comment section what you feel about the video and your own opinion so far because it counts on this channel <laughs> I will not run away, Israel DNW says, as he tries to convince Davido to take him to US. That is already trending out on social media. Uh, he said in Pigeon, Maga, make everywhere scatter. I no go run. Na Nigeria I did. Make I follow you, go Yankee. If translated to English, boss, make it lit. I will not run. I am a resident of Nigeria. Let me follow you to America. Israel DNW followed David O2 to uh, London O2 Arena. When he performed at the O2 Arena with the help of David O, he was able to get his visa. Uh, he was even allowed to climb the stage in front of thousands of people. And that is what uh, Israel is actually looking for at a point like this because David O is going to be having his tour come June um this year 2022 and uh, we all uh gonna follow the story and all this um interesting side activities around it and israel is already begging the video to say man make you allow me follow you to us and all those kind of things i think uh the video having a great mind and uh, being a good person i think this time around we still allow israel dmw to follow him to us i think uh, they may find a way to allow Israel you know, communicate with the audience and all this kind of because this guy is already getting popular by the day. That is what I believe about uh, the whole thing. Oh God, make it go to the because the constitution. I don't know what wrong, I'll come back to my channel. Let's have a good day. 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 Let's have a who have the privilege of uh, being followed by Instagram official account. Uh, a recent look at the singer's page shows that the account with almost 500 million followers is now on his uh, followers list. Why fans of Davido are not surprised that their fave got followed. Other Nigerians think it's not a big deal. That is something interesting right now on social media and i think uh, it's a big deal to understand because uh having that kind of recognition will give you a kind of plunge into um the world of influencing because david is considered as one of the biggest influencers in nigeria and that he's been keeping uh, you know tunes to that and now uh, i have another thing to talk about that is uh, manchester united icon Evra, Patrice Evra, shares who he prefers among Davido, uh, Whiskey and Bonaboy. 
at an interview with Ebuka. That is something uh, interesting. Let's have a glimpse of that uh, video uh, so that you get to understand uh, about the story so far. Talking about music, I mean, I follow you and I know you've always promoted Nigeria. Who's your favorite Nigerian musician? You see, this guy. <laughs> want to I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go out uh, alive. I, I wanna take my plane nice and. So easy. you know the words. If I say whiskey, the Davido fight, <laughs> the Venable fight gonna kill me. If I say Davido, <laughs> this guy, if he got whatever. All I, of I them. I didn't know you knew that about all him. of them. I I know Venable personally, but all of them, all of them. So you're afraid? You won't get me. It's not that I'm afraid. I don't want to upset any of my Nigeria people. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yes, you know, Manchester United legend Evra Rubis, who he loves more between Wizkid and David O'Brien, boy, Evra Manchester United icon discloses who of Wizkid Burner boy. <laughs> And that he tactically did that. I think uh, that is all interesting for us to actually understand that man. Well, we can still love the video whiskey burner boy without hurting ourselves, without you know fighting ourselves and all those kind of things. That is what this man is trying to kind of uh, demonstrate at the end of the day. Uh, right now, a lot of people are saying something that uh, you know a kind of uh, quite disturbing. Um, the story of um, Chris Lang school video is already out and people are now giving their own opinion to that. Uh, right now, uh, David uh, Whiskey's uh, baby mama is still speaking on this uh, issue at a point like this. Uh, according to her, said when she was accosted about the video, she was saying, yeah, it's me and so Whiskey's baby mama speak a volume. Uh, on the uh, Chris Land video that is you know trending on social media, for most people that does not understand, what I um, understand right now that uh, Whiskey Son first son Bolu Atife is a student of that school. They were all in Dubai at that point in time, and uh, you know this participated in games and other uh, story is now being told around. And uh, one thing you need to understand also, she is a member of the PTA and that is something you need to understand and that is why she is loud at this um according to her said to make matter worse even when she was accosted about the video owned it with her full chest saying yeah it is me in the video and so that is something now being analyzed by a lot of nigerians and a lot of uh, stories around that is being uh, built i think a proper investigation is going to be uh, is already on its way but harming the school calendar you know that is what many people are now condemning because or well, looking at what really happened you cannot really blame the school i will read something to you so that you get to understand and then some people are saying that poor parenting also contributed allowing their daughter to have a phone be on tiktok likey and the rest making videos and it's all um kind of uninteresting for a lot of us yes uh, recently uh whiskey's baby mama spoke for that as she stated that um the, the school shouldn't be blamed for the immoral act uh because the accurate uh, measures where all the um, accurate measures were actually put in place to ensure that such never happened. According to Shola, Whiskey's baby mama, the teacher did their parole, parole three times uh, to five times daily and they were over 70 children to five uh, or six teachers. But to show how badly behaved the kids were, they waited till midnight before they got their nasty act on camera that is what is now trending on social media and i think uh, to an extent i'm looking at it from her own point of view because we don't need to blame out the school totally yes this child goes to school and come back comes back home and the rest what are the cultures what are the things because i've seen parents fight a teacher for kind of uh, trying to discipline and all those kind of things so that is something you need to understand that man to an extent let us still blame the parents of these so-called kids and that is what um she has 
actually kind of torn in recent time. Yes, Timmy Dakolo and Davido set to drop a music collaboration that is a huge and a big number and it was shared by Timmy Dakolo on his uh, Instagram page with a particular interesting caption. Uh, Timmy Dakolo shared the news over his verified Instagram page where he posted a mute a muted clip of himself and that video recording and multiple photos of the duo together uh, with the caption the chorus leader is coming um, David o, thank you uh, that is already you know uh, that is that was his caption and I think uh, uh, let us expect something better right now and I think uh, the Afrobeats uh, in, in Nigeria the Afrobeat sector of uh, Nigerian music is already you know working very hard to actually uh, achieving some kind of level of uh, synergy and rest what is happening to the hip-hop sector that is what a lot of people are now saying that calling on the likes of Emma Baga on the likes of um, you know Vector Fino and then Olamide is a bit uh, kind of uh, helping the industry I think it needs to do more to the Afrobeat and uh, Don Jazzy has uh, you know um, <laughs> Ladipo on his record label and this he is also uh, this guy is also doing great thing. I think they need a more support and synergy in that industry in that sector so that they can actually measure up with the Afrobeat uh, you know colleagues and the rest that is something I believe about that before I jump up finally I want to take out this time to really appreciate you guys for watching this video sharing this video across social media platform being a part of it is all interesting for me and if you are new here why don't you take out time click the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos i love you guys keep supporting through us keep sharing my videos and keep <laughs> reaching out to us on this platform